Hi, and welcome to Bud's Smart Home. Today we're going to talk about how to make a blinking light flow for your Homey Pro. And we're going to do that with this Loops app. So first step is to go to the Homey Pro apps. And by the way, these apps are free in here. Anything you see, you can download without cost. There is a link in most of those to donate to the developers and it's always good to do that to show your appreciation. In this case, I'm gonna make sure I'm on the Homey Pro tab and I'm gonna look for the Loops. I already got that in there. So the name of this app is called Loops. We'll hit enter and there you'll see it here. So to download this, you'll just hit install app and hit the screen bar here. And it says Loops will be installed shortly. So let's look at some of the flow cards here. We're only going to use three of these cards to make the flow that I'm going to show you today. Uh, we're going to use this card here that initiates the loop. We're going to use this card here as well that says loop iterates. And then we're going to use this card that says loops finished. All right. So it's the loops app. So once that's installed, you go into your web app. And you can check to make sure it's installed by going down to your settings cog and then look in the list of installed apps and right here is the loops app okay all right and then we're going to go into flows and i'm going to show you uh, a couple things let's start with the blinking light flow here so this is the flow i made it's a subroutine to my surveillance flow this is the trigger card here, down here at the bottom. So that's the card that starts things off. And once that card is triggered by an activated alarm, then it goes into this blinking light flow. This loop iterates or starts and goes through the number of selected times. And then once it's gone through the selected number of times, then it finishes by triggering this card here and stopping the uh, lights from flashing. Let's go back to the surveillance flow. I'm going to show you how to get this card set up. So this can all be done in one flow, uh, but for my purposes, I have alarms and notifications that if the house is armed and the house is breached, meaning the set sensors that I set up in Heimdall, if any of those doors are opened, then that activates the Heimdall alarm. When that alarm is activated, I turn on my dome siren, which sends uh, an audible alert. I have an announcement on my Alexa device. And I also have a push notification that comes to each of our phones and uh, the, these are the notifications down here and i start that flashing loop blow so to install this first card you would right click hit add hit then then find the loops app you want to take the second one from the bottom here start loop so we'll select that and I, you have to pick a name for the loop. I called it flashing lights. And then you select how many times you want the lights to flash. In my case, I selected 30. So you see 30 times. And then you, you have to select the, the uh, amount of delay between each flash. So I'm going to pick uh, three seconds. So three and seconds. And that's all there is to setting up that card. This will start the flashing lights, which I have in a separate flow. I called that blinking light flow. So let me go ahead and get rid of this card. We'll save that. And let's go into the blinking light flow. So here is loop iterates or starts. To get that card, you hit add when Go down and find loops when loop iterates is the one you want so we'll select that and then you just select the assigned name which is flashing lights so when the flashing light 
iterates, then perform all these actions. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So what I have is a number of uh, devices that have the ability to set color and also to dim. So I use my hall light, my living room lamp, my second living room lamp, and also the living room uh, nightlight, which is a third reality nightlight. These lamps have a third reality bulbs in, and this kitchen light is a Zemi Smart uh, Zigbee color downlight. And so I first dim those lights to zero. Then I have a one second pause, and then I bring them up to 100%. So they'll repeat 30 times, flashing from zero to 100%, zero to 100%. When they, they cycled through 30 times, then I need the next flow. And the card I'm going to use is when and loops, and then select this loop finished card. Again, the name I'm going to select is the flashing light. So when the flashing light loop has finished, I'll delete that. Then set the color of all those devices to white then dim them all to zero percent you could also use the the command the card to turn off the the lights as well so it's pretty easy to set this flow up one thing i'll mention going back to this uh, surveillance flow let me save this first so going back to this surveillance flow uh, this is quite an extensive flow and if you're interested in setting this up, I go into a lot of detail. Uh, and I have that uh, couple videos that explain how to set everything up. So the videos that you want to check out, I would suggest that you check out the video for Homey Security Setup, setting up the Heimdall Home Surveillance on the Homey Pro Hub. That's a very good one. And then Homey Pro Surveillance Flow. This is an advanced tutorial on setting up Homey Pro Surveillance using that Heimdall app. Those are two essential videos that you'll want to watch. So that's the Loops app, and it's uh, very easy to use if you want to create a blinking light flow. So if this video was helpful, I ask that you give it a thumbs up. That tells the YouTube algorithms that this video content is helpful and that more people should see it. And it greatly helps my channel. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to do so. There's a lot of good content for both Homey Pro and SmartThings. And I want to just thank you for watching today. See you next time.